What's up everyone, Kyra Carl here, and in this video, you are going to learn how to fix scapular winging. So if you have difficulty doing a push-up or pain in the shoulders as you try, chances are you have dysfunction and problems with control over your scapula. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my three go-to exercises that will help you fix your scapular winging problem. Let's do it. So the scapula is a nice flat triangular bone that sits at the back of the rib cage and it kind of floats in position. It's held there by really three main muscular structures, the serratus anterior, the rhomboids, and the trapezius muscles. Now any of these can become imbalanced or weak or dysfunctional. However, we are gonna focus on the most likely culprit, which is the serratus anterior muscle. So when that serratus anterior is dysfunctional, and you try to move your shoulder forwards or protract it, what's actually going to happen is that muscle is not going to fire properly and that scapula is going to wing, it's going to come away from the rib cage to the point that you may actually be able to get fingertips into the underside of that scapula itself. So we need to create stability and control of that shoulder complex that's really going to work that serratus anterior and surrounding muscular structure to enable you to have problem-free movement and reduction in that scapular winging. So let's do those three super simple exercises right now. So the first exercise we're going to look at is called the apple picker. Now we are going to need a band for this. You can actually check out some links in the description below if you want to see what bands I use. And we're going to need to tie this band off to something sturdy and strong behind you. Now, as you can see here, I've attached my band to a door anchor, so I'm able to do this from my living room. Now, as we do this exercise, we're going to place the band into the open aspect of our hand, and we are going to drive our shoulder forwards. We're not leaning forwards, we are driving that shoulder forwards as if we are picking an apple from a tree at distance. This is forcing the serratus anterior to fire in a controlled manner, and as we do this, we're going to then bring it backwards and down in a controlled manner with that band resistance controlled all the way. We can repeat this 10 to 15 times and we're going to do this for a total of three sets. If you're enjoying the content that I am creating, what you can do to help support me is hit that subscribe button, tap that like, let me know that this content is valuable to you. What we can actually do next is going to be scapular push-ups. Now, to begin with, what we're going to do is start on all fours. Now, from here, we are going to create a hollow body position and drive our arms and our hands down into the floor and almost create a corkscrew effect through the hands as we do this, moving in outwards, upwards, movement. Now, as we do this nice and slowly, we should feel the back begin to arch up slightly, raise towards the ceiling, hold that for a count of three to five seconds, bring it back down and repeat. Now, to make this slightly harder, what we can actually do is go onto our feet in a, in a full plank position and do the same thing. So this is a full body scapula push-up. Same things apply, creating that force and pushing down into the floor as we do this movement. Now, again, to make either of these more difficult, what we can actually do is while we're in that top position doing the three to five second hold, we can actually bring ourselves more towards our feet and extending our arms upwards as we do this. Again, holding and driving into the floor as we do this, you're going to feel a real pull into the underside of the arms, into that rib cage, and that is exactly what we want to feel. Again, we're gonna repeat this 10 to 15 times, and we're gonna do three sets of it. Give yourself a couple of minutes break in between, because this one can be a real pain. The next exercise is going to be wall slides. Now, we don't need a band for this, we don't need anything fancy, all we need is a nice firm wall or door. Now, we're going to stand in front of it and we're going to place our forearms up against the door. And from here, we're just going to drive our elbows in towards that door and we're going to slowly raise our arms up in a nice controlled fashion against the wall. 
Now, as you can see here, there is a restriction to the range of motion if we do this properly, but it should be difficult and controlled. Now, it doesn't matter if those elbows come away from the door ever so slightly, it's about the control of this movement and maintaining that scapular position as we do this exercise. Now, again, just like the other exercises, we can do this for 10 to 15 reps, and we're going to push through for up to three sets. Now, as we do these exercises, you might notice some tension or pain in that middle back. And if that's the case, we might want to work on some extension-based exercises. Now, to save time, you can actually check out a previous video I've done right here. Alternatively, this video might be exactly the one you're looking for. And if you haven't already done so, hit the like button, click subscribe, tap the bell icon, do all of those things. I'll see you next time.